Hello everyone, this is just a quick tutorial on some basic things, especially on how to make sure that your secret keys and passwords etc. don't end up in a repository on GitHub. Um, we'll start with some very basic things. First thing is that we would want to create a readme document. So let's go into our directory and we have it here already. So our, we want to create a readme which will uh, definitely end up at github so there's the file and just put some text in it which i've obviously created before so i won't bother you with uh, all the contents and another thing is that you should put a license there as well so let's make a license file we're going to take the mit license condition so we just name the file mit license.txt there it is. Now the MIT license conditions can be found on the internet, obviously. So let's just go over there. Link is in the written tutorial and we'll just copy the text over here and put it in our um, file. And obviously replace the year with the current year and copyright holder. You know, let's just put my name there. And that's it. Now to the actual GitHub repository. Let's go to GitHub and create a new repository. The link is here. Um, repository name, we'll call it the same as the project. Um, let's make it public. And we have a read readme already, so we don't need that. We'll just create the repository. There it is. And we should copy this link here. So we can copy it like that. Go to our local directory and type git in it and then git remote at origin and then type the link there. Now there's one thing I should explain here because I already have a second repository which means that I have to add my username here. So I'll do that and this should be fine. Okay, let's check. And indeed it's there. And now we have to tell Git which files to synchronize via a git ignore file. There's lots of examples of that in on internet. I'll just use one which I have used before. Um, git ignore. I'll just um, show you how what the contents are approximately. This is a cache file. This has to do with my Mac. Uh, we don't want to synchronize uh, SQLite databases. Uh, we also don't want to synchronize our local environment or virtual environment. These are PyCharm files which we don't need in our repository. The local.py is interesting. I'm going to talk about, about that one later on. And these are translation files which we don't want in our repository either test files and media files well you can put media files there but since we're going to upload the media fields files directly to our uh, deployment server we don't uh, put them in our repository in our case now add the files to our local repository let's add all of them git commit initial commit and git push view origin master. There we are. Now everything is on our local repository. Hopefully, let's check. Yes, there they are. Now onto this local.py file that I talked about. Um, actually, Wagtail is um, already um, proposing that we have a, where is it? In our settings, we have a base settings, we have development settings, and we have a production settings. And uh, in the documentation, it says it's it's actually uh, recommended that we also should have a local.py file. So let's create that local.py, which will have settings that will not be tracked to GitHub and which are only local for this machine. So when, what we have to do then is when we deploy, we have to copy this local.py file to our server once, and then from that point on, um, the settings from that local file 
will be taken into account. You can see that if you, for example, go to production, then you can see it tries to import local.py there. So in local.py, we're going to put our secret key and also our database settings and later on our email settings as well with all the passwords. We have a secret key already in development. Um, there it is, but that one is going to be uploaded to GitHub and we want one to have in our local.py file, which is not going to be uploaded. So actually Django has a method for that. So let's go to Django, um, to the shell of Django, Python 3.py shell, and type from django.core.management.details, import, import, get random secret key, which is the function that we're going to need. Get random secret key and there we have a random randomly generated secret key now copy that one over and put it in our settings file secret key equals and there's the string we will also take out our database settings with the password and that one is in our base.py file. There is the database setting. If you've seen a previous tutorial, you can see that uh, there is still a password 123 in there, which is obviously not the right thing to do. So let's take that out here completely and put it into our local.py file. Now let's change that password and we can do that by going to Let's exit this one and go to um, the PSQL prompt. Now we want to change the password and the command for that is alter user. The user that we had was user pet with password. And now we're going to put a new password there. There, that's done. And we can exit this now. And we put the new password here as well. Okay, that's it uh, for now. Next time we're going to do the same with our email settings. So uh, see you next time.